Hello, this is Lambda Rock, and I want to show you the basics of autosaves. I will present you three types of different autosaves, which are the trigger autosave, logic autosave, and logic distant autosave. So the first one, the trigger autosave, is basically just a trigger. So for this, go into your block tool and create a block. Press enter, now mark it. Press control T to turn it into a trigger. Mark it again and go into its properties um, with alt enter and change its class to trigger autosave. So this is already your finished autosave that you can play somewhere in your map and when the player um, touches it, an autosave is created. This works um, in a way that it is a trigger once. So once the, the autosave is generated, this trigger is removed from the map. The other two are basically entities. So there is, the first one is called logic autosave. So I will just go to the entity tool and press, well, just search for autosave and you find logic autosave. Um, Place it, it somewhere, I will go to the tool here where I can put it a bit up so you can see it. So it is logic autosave. Um, give it a name. For example, um, autosave logic or let logic autosave. And you can also define a minimum amount of hit points that the player has. Um, so if you say the health should be at least at 33 um, to survive the next fight, um, then this save will only um, take effect when when the player has at least this amount of hit points. I'll leave it at zero because I want to have it a forced uh, auto save. Um, in order to to trigger this, you can use what you want as as a trigger, something that creates an output. Um, for example, you have a door that opens, and as soon as this door is opened an autosave is created. Um, I will just show you that. So here is a simple door. I mark it and go in its properties with Alt Enter. Go to the outputs, add a new output, say on open. And I want to have this logic autosave as my target entity. So I go to the um, select tool. I select this and I say save. So this basically saves the game as soon as I open this door, or as soon as this door is opened. The third one is a so-called logic distant autosave. So we go to the entity tool, we search for logic underscore distance autosave, and I place it here. It has the same symbol, so it is basically the same apart from some little details. I go into its properties, pressing Alt Enter. I give it a name, distance autosave. And now I can configure a distance. Um, the player has to be away from a certain target or, an, or some kind of entity, NPC, what you want, something that has a name in the map um, and a point in the map. Um, so the distance, as soon as this, this distance is is um, achieved, the um, save takes takes effect. So when does does this make sense? Well, you could have a bomb that that explodes, and um, if a player is a safe distance, um, you can you can um, give him a safe, um, a really uh, safe um, auto save. But um, I think this is more or less very good for a thing when you have this blind zombie everybody loves. So go to the entity tool, go to NPC zombie blind, and you know it is Jeff. Go into Jeff's properties by pressing Alt Enter and give Jeff his name. I like to call him Jeff. So I go to my distance autosave and I can say as soon as I'm let's say 128 um, units away from Jeff, I 
and safe to um, to uh, well cre create a, a safe. Um, this is this is um, another thing here be because I came to to the blind zombie. Um, it has a parameter called player cuffing check. So let's say you are 128 or 129 units away, and the safe should take place, but you are cuffing um, because the you know there are spores, and then the 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 blind zombie the Jeff will will start to um, run into your direction, and this is not a very um, comfortable. Um, thought when you have just reloaded a safe game um, that that Jeff is right behind you. You want to have, or you want to give the player a bit of time to um, recuperate from 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 the last death. Um, so I say player cuffing check. No no cuffing and 128 um, away from Jeff. So this is this is a very uh, safe thing to to secure the game there, and. Um, it also needs to be triggered as the um, logic autosave that you have seen before. But we take again our door. As I know, we have first save. We made the first save here. This is a fourth save with the logic autosave. We have no parameters, nothing else in there. Um, and now let's assume in this building there is Jeff and wants to uh, get us. So um, the next save should be as soon as we are uh, far enough away from Jeff. So that's why I go to the door, go to go to the outputs, add a new output, on, open. I go to the select tool for my distance autosave, and I say save dangerous. So this one takes um, a new save as soon as we are in safe distance and are not coughing. Okay, maybe I want to check fire once only on both of them. So not every time I open the door, I want to have um, triggered new safe games. So that's it. I hope you liked it. Oh, oh one, one thing, one thing before I forget it. Um, in some points in your map, you are going to have some sounds and you are playing background music, something like that. Um, if you reload, most of them will be gone if you do not have um, configured them. So I, for example, here, I do have this um, sound. It is called sound event aligned box, which works as some kind of crackling fire in the background because there is a crackling fire in the background. And as soon as um, I do um, uh, a load, I loading, I am loading an, an, an autosave or an, a normal save, this would be gone. But so there will be fire, but no sound for it, which is bogus. So I go into the properties of the sound and I check save restore. So this indicates that the sound will restart um, after the reload of the map. And this not only works with a sound box, um, you can, for example, if you have your point sound event, so you you just created some nice battle music, fight music, and there is there's an autosave, you get killed in the fight, um, you load, and then the music is gone. That's, that's not a very decent thing. So always say, um, save and restore to that music to your FD, well whatever you have there um, so you your auto saves will restore the music that that you're hearing and the sounds that you're hearing on that part so i think that was it now um, i now hope you liked it